in the 106th Tournament of Roses Parade, the Elko High School Band of Indians from Elko, Nevada, under the direction of Walt Lowell.
Happy New Year, everybody. And what a super way to begin 1995 on the second, not the first, but worth waiting for. We're here in beautiful Pasadena with the San Gabriel Mountains in the background at the 106 Rose Parade. With me, a lovely star and longtime member of the CBS family, Donna Mills, and happy. From California's neighbor to the east, Donna, here now is the band that the governor of Nevada has dubbed the Pride of Nevada, also the Pride of Elko High School in Elko, Nevada. Now, I might point out that Elko High was one of the first schools in the nation to win the Excellence in Education pennant from the U.S. Department of Education for academic as well as all-around excellence. We salute them. The band has 144 musicians, two drum majors, two banner carriers, and 25 flag bearers, all dressed in maroon and white, modernized cadet style. They are many times Nevada State Marching Band champions, and they've won many other awards and marched in many places around this country. Let's listen to the pride of Nevada. Invited now to an NBC special presentation, the Tournament of Roses Parade. Good morning and Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Marshall Warfield. And I'm Joe Garagiola. Happy New Year, everybody. And marching this way, a group that has been declared the pride of Nevada. It's the Elko High School Band of Indians. These young people are the current and seven-time Nevada State marching champions. And it's easy to see why. They look and they sound fantastic. Three presidential inaugurations, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, the Fiesta Bowl. From Pasadena, California, brought to you in stereo surround sound, this is KTLA's coverage of the 106th Tournament of Roses Parade, hosted by Bob Eubanks and Stephanie Edwards. Just terrific. Well, by the way, may I thank ARCO and GTE for sponsoring today's telecast, and then tell you that this is the Elko High School, the Pride of Nevada, marching band from Elko, Nevada. If you're just now tuning in and you say, what's the parade doing on Monday, the day after New Year's? Well, it's happened before. January 1st has fallen on Sunday 16 times, with the last being in 1989. And the next time the Tournament of Roses will be held on January 2nd will be the year 2006. I wonder if we'll be here. <laughs> From Pasadena, California, it's the 1995 Rose Parade. 
Well, and this is not just any parade. This is spectacular. Oh, and uh, you know, we had the opportunity to go in earlier this year and last year, Gabrielle, for you to see those floats. And, you know, it starts with just a concept. Oh, and here, I hear them. I hear them. In their tall, white, ostrich feather plumes comes the pride of Nevada, the Elko High School Marching Band. 171 strong. This band has played at three presidential inaugurations and are the current and seven-time Nevada State Marching Champions. I can't believe how many played for presidents. Hey, my turn. <laughs> let's listen. Yes, let's. <laughs> California, USA. Welcome to the 106th Annual Tournament of Roses Parade. Sports, the quest for excellence is our theme, and this is Colorado Boulevard. Now, well, we wish him a lot of luck. And he's here today getting some recognition on that boat. He knows how to do it. Well, from Elko, Nevada, since after all we were talking Nevada a moment ago, from Elko, Nevada, the Elko High School Marching Band. 144 strong in maroon and white. Let's check them out. This is called a band of Indians, not an Indian band. Once again, good sound with the band's outstanding pickup. presidential inaugurations. They've done things like the Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York and the Fiesta Bowl Parade in Miami. They've been around this bunch. Elko, Nevada must be a bigger city than I thought it is. <laughs> Not when they're down here. Here we have another trophy. 